I think we all know someone who has been abused. The situation becomes worse when they begin to believe that they deserve the abuse for something they have done. No one deserves to be abused. Position nine, Rickard. This is State versus Benjamin Joseph Rickett. Uh, Mr. Rickett is accused of battery domestic violence from July 29th, 2022. Mr. Rickett, you've been advised of your right to remain silent. Anything you say about the facts of your case or any other cases, your statements can and will be used against you. You have a right to an attorney and presently you're represented by um, attorney Ms. Kim. Mr. Toussaint, any priors with regards to Mr. Rickett? 15 total. Repeat that again, please. 15. Okay. 2020 reckless conduct, pointing pistol at another. Battery DV, second and subsequent conviction. Um, cruelty in the second degree. Uh, 2019. Ag battery, battery DV, trespass. Are those open cases in Fulton County or other jurisdictions? The ag battery is open in Coweta. I do have some additional information on that one. Okay. And the um, the one involving the cruelty in the second degree? That was here in Fulton County, and it was dismissed in actually this month. Okay. All right. Anything else, Mr. Howard? Yeah. Uh, Shelly, you want to get the rest of the history? My apologies, Mr. Howard. I didn't mean to step on your toes. Okay. Um, we have probation violations in 2014, 2015, 2017, FTAs in 2012 and 2013, family violence battery NOLO in 2014, um, and obstructing or hindering persons making emergency telephone calls, cruelty to children, third degree, 2014, cruelty to animals, 2012. The 12, 14, and 14 cases are all convictions. Thank you. Mr. Howard, anything else to supplement? No. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Falk, um, I've already read the warrant. I do see Ms. Goddard is uh, present on the video. Uh, yes, what's sure. your recommendation? So the recommendation here is a $6,000 surety bond. Stay away from the victim in this case, um, Ms. Tom Tomoko, and I may be mispronouncing her name, Goddard, T-O-M-O-K-O. G-O-D-D-A-R-D. Uh, we are also asking for no further, uh, well, no further contact, a stay away order from 990 Lena Street and no alcohol, drugs, or weapons. Even though this happened back July 29th of 2022, the concerns that we have are still the same. So the case that was dismissed out of Fulton County, he was given a $35,000 surety bond on that case. And it was during this time while he was out on that surety bond that he committed this new offense. So although the case is dismissed as of September 2022, this incident still happened while he was currently out on bond on that reckless conduct, pointing a gun, family violence, battery, and cruelty to children. It was, however, with a different victim. We also have an aggravated battery out of from 2020 out of Coweta County, which he is currently still out on bond on um, against his parent, Angelo Rickard. Uh, he bench warranted on that case in June 2022, but that bench warrant was later vacated once he appeared in court. Um, we also have that 2019 family violence battery out of Coweta as well. Unfortunately, I could not find additional information on who the victim was in that case. That coupled with a previous family violence battery from 2014 and the cruelty to children, third degree and obstructing telephone call in 2014, as well as those probation violations in 14, 15, 17, I, I feel like make him a very concerning risk of not only reoffense but of appearing in court. Um, obviously, this was uh, quite a um, severe attack being that she had bleeding and a laceration and um, was struck in the head as, by the wall when he grabbed her by the legs and yanked her. And so for all of those reasons, we are asking for that $6,000 surety bond with the conditions. Ms. Kim? Yes, Your Honor. I believe that um, Tomoko Goddard is at the court. That's what I heard. Uh, she's on Zoom, yes. She's on the Zoom. Uh, can we let her go first? Certainly. 
Sure. Uh, Ms. Carter, this is Judge Law. If you'd like to say anything, I'll be glad to hear your input, um, but I need to place you under oath. Would you like to contribute? Yes, please. All right, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you provide will be the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, I swear. All right. Uh, but, how do you know Mr. Rickett? Um, we've been in a relationship for um, almost four years. All right. And um, this was an incident from July of 2022? Yes. All right. And were you all living together at that time? Yes, we just okay. moved in. Okay. And what would you <laughs> like to tell me? Um, the situation was I, um, I honestly uh, provoked it. Um, so I work a very stressful stress stressful job and um we we were arguing over dishes and the situation actually um he was actually trying to prevent me from harming my myself because of um some glass that had fallen on the floor on accidentally so i when the incident happened um I suffer from some anxiety from overstress, and I did not um, recognize the situation as as it was. And um, Benjamin was protecting me from <clears throat> any self harm. And um, when the other accusations I had uh, reported to the uh, officer happened, it was also an attempt to. Um, keep me from harming myself. <clears throat> All right. Anything else? I just feel like the full story hasn't been um, portrayed. I don't think the police officer was able to get the full information just because I was um, so very much uh, had, an, had an anxiety attack. Um, and then when I had the call from the detective, she was very um, poignant with her questions and not asking me the full story of what went, what happened. Uh, with regards to, I guess you're referring to the September 14th conversation you had with the officer? Yes. All right. Anything else? Um, I would like to recant the um, statement I gave to the officer and hopefully dismiss this because I, I believe I was a participant in what was happening. <sighs> All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. You may mute your screen. Ms. King? Yes, Mr. Benjamin Rickett is 33 years old and he has been here in Georgia for nine years and they have been dating about four years. And Mr. Uh, Benjamin has one child with another uh, lady and his uh, son is four years old. And I guess Ms. Uh, Tomoko, who is a girlfriend has been also participating in raising a boy together. Uh, Mr. Rickett has his own company and he does property management. He's been doing that for about not, uh, seven years. And he also has associate degrees from college and he was actually serving the army from 2006 to 2008 and he honorably di discharged. Uh, we would like to request for signature on bond and yet, if your honor is not inclined to give him a signature on bond because of open cases, and we would like to request for maximum $3,000, shorty bond. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Ms. Goddard, I uh, appreciate you appearing. Um, it's, it's very difficult to issue orders separating individuals. And I understand that you have a certain perspective of what transpired back in July of 2022. However, I also have to go by the diametrically opposite sworn report that was issued by the police officer based not only on the body camera footage that was taken 
on July 29, 2022, but also based on the conversation that the officer had with you on September 14th, 2022. And given Mr. Ricketts um, very disturbing history of violence, it is very, very difficult for me to grant your request to allow contact as well as to warrant a dismissal of this case. The bond is gonna be set at $3,000. It's gonna be a surety bond on the battery domestic violence. The conditions to the bond are first, no further contact with Tomoko Goddard. If Ms. Goddard is occupying the premises at 990 Lena Street, then uh, Mr. Go Mr. Rickett shall not return to that property. He may go back one time only with a police officer to retrieve his personal belongings, as well as his child. As long as um, his child is not, if, I mean, if he has primary custody of the child in question, then he may retrieve his child. Um, he's not to consume any illegal drugs, no weapons and no firearms. And um, he's not to consume any alcohol. We will. Um, this is the other thing. I'm going to require Mr. Rickett to be equipped with an ankle monitor and the monitoring services will be done, uh, will be paid for by Mr. Rickett. And this is to assure that he does not violate the conditions of his bond and that he maintains distance from his guarded. If, uh, any prior, if there are any subsequent arrests with regards to Mr. Rickett, I'll be very comfortable to place him in a no bond status. Yes, Mr. Rickett, I had noticed that you've been prior, um, had to be equipped with an ankle monitor in 2020. Yes, and uh, considering you have an open case for a violent offense, and that you've got a history of probation violations and failures to appear. And given the disturbing nature of the allegations set forth in the warrant, I'm very, very comfortable reissuing an order for an ankle monitoring. I understand, Your Honor. I just wanted to say one thing. Um, <clears throat> I do have Please do not comment about the facts of the case. Yes, Your Honor. Um, the case that recently got dismissed there's also the open case at noonan that according to my attorney is going to be dismissed here very, very nice. good um let's stop right there and tell me who's your attorney it's uh richard um i have it all on my phone he just recently died all right please forward that information to miss kim so that miss kim can let your attorney know about this new case and your attorney can decide whether he, uh, he he's going to represent you in this case as well, so that the public defender's office can withdraw. And you, so there, never mind. There's honestly, I'll just remain silent. Three thousand dollars surety bond and ankle monitoring. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Position 11, 12, and thirteen, Stephens. 